Hi, welcome to this tutorial in my series on correlation and regression. Now you should be familiar with scatter diagrams and what I've got up here is for instance a table here which gives the height in centimetres, we'll call it X, and your arm span, Y centimetres, and these are various values recorded from different people. And what we could do is we could plot this data on a scatter diagram. Scatter diagram, something like this. Okay, I've got several axes here as you can see because as we progress through this tutorial I'm going to be drawing you different kinds of scatter diagrams. Now for this one, okay, all I would do is just go 156 units across here on this scale and 146 units up and plot a point. Let's just suppose it's there, okay? And then I'd go 160, 158, plot another point, and so on. I would carry on plotting points like so. And you might find that you get a diagram of points something like this, okay? Now if you have something like this, as I say, it's called a scatter diagram. We'll come back to this one in a moment. Let's take another scatter diagram. Suppose we were looking at, say, the hours of practice that someone does on a musical instrument. And we record it for several students. And notice that a student doing one hour of practice makes 20 mistakes. Another student who does two hours of practice makes 15 mistakes and so on. And if I was to start plotting these points, we would get for the first one, one across, 20 up, and we get a point something like that. For this one, 215, two across, 15 up, maybe it's there. Okay, and if we carried on plotting these points, we might find that we get a scatter diagram of points, something like this, okay? Now, when we have scatter diagrams that look like this or look like this, in other words, the general trend tends to be a straight line. Here's the trend on this one. We call them linear correlated. These are linearly correlated. We have linear correlation. Let me just write this down for you. What we've got is linear correlation. And this type of linear correlation is called positive linear correlation. And no prizes for guessing what this one's going to be. Clearly negative, negative linear correlation. Now correlation doesn't have to be linear, okay? You could have data in a table for X and Y. And when you plot the scatter diagram, you might get something like this. Okay, set of points coming up like this and then going up, curving up. All right. Now clearly this isn't linear because the relationship is something like this. So it's not linear correlation, but it is correlated. There is clearly a relationship between these data points, these observed values. You might find that you get a scatter diagram that looks a bit like this, okay? Clearly this one's not linearly correlated, but there is correlation because there's a relationship, something like this. There tends to be that kind of trend. If something is not correlated, then you would expect not to see any trend whatsoever in your scatter diagram. Say you've got points like this, okay? You don't know where the trend would be. So we would say that this is not correlated. So we've got no correlation here. Now what I'm going to do in the next few tutorials, we're going to look at linear correlation. We're going to work out a statistic called Pearson's Product Moment Correlation Coefficient, or just simply the Product Moment Correlation Coefficient. 
which measures how close these points are to a straight line. And we're also going to look at calculating the equation of the line. And that's often called regression. So I hope that gives you some background to scatter diagrams and what we mean by correlation. Correlation then being that there is some kind of relationship in your scatter diagram. But we're going to be looking at linear correlation. Okay, so thanks for listening and I hope that's been of some use.